another new restaurant. It's called Cask Southern Kitchen and Bar. This one actually is off Lynn Station Road and we had a we had a really nice nice evening. Yeah um, if you remember where Skyline used to be uh, there on Lynn Station Road it's in that same exact building um, right there next to the lake. Um, really neat place. Uh, not a big place mm -hmm. um, but really neat. Um, bourbon themed. Um, we didn't know, we asked the waitress, um, the name cask uh, is another word for a barrel that they use to store like whiskey or bourbon or something like that in. So that's where the name came from. Um, it's your traditional Southern cooking um, with um, catfish and um, chicken and barbecue ribs and meatloaf and things like that. Um, it's definitely a little bit of a, a twist to it. I yeah, guess. yeah, it had a Their twist. Their own take. Yeah, uh, we started off uh, with two different appetizers. We got the um, the fritters, the pimento fritters, mm -hmm. I think they were called. Um, and they were like cornbread fritters stuffed with like ooey gooey melty <laughs> pimento cheese inside of them. Um, round balls, almost look like hush puppies. Mm -hmm. And then they uh, come with this remoulade sauce that you dip them in and they were fantastic. I mean, great appetizer. Uh, you get six in an order, um, you know, use a fork, cut them in half because they're pretty good size, dip them in the sauce, and they are a, a great little appetizer. Something, I've never really had anything like that before and they were really, really good. What'd you yeah, think? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really think you needed the sauce either. The sauce was phenomenal, uh, but they stood alone just fine. They yeah. had plenty of flavor. Um, but yeah, they were, they were really good and, and really different. Yeah, they would definitely get them again. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend those. Uh, and then the second appetizer we got was the pulled pork nachos. Um, and they use a pimento cheese queso. 
which I've never had a pimento cheese queso before <laughs> either. Um, but it had barbecue pulled pork. Um, it had sour cream. It had the pimento queso. It had the pickled red onions on it. Um, some pico de gallo, some sliced avocado. Um, the chips were, uh, they're house-made tortilla awesome. chips, so they're a little bit thicker. They held up really good to yes. the nachos and the cheese. They didn't get soggy and break. Um, excellent nachos. Absolutely love them. I had a couple of the, the chips without anything on it. I mean, they were that good. They, they could have... Yeah. I, they were really good. Really satisfied with both of our appetizers. Yes. Would go in there again and just get those two appetizers yeah. and It'd not have to eat dinner and be stuffed yeah. and, and happy. Um, portions were, were good. Um, you'll see in the pictures, the tray of nachos was just huge. Um, we didn't even come close to finishing them. Um, service was excellent. Uh, our waitress, Paige, she was phenomenal. Uh, while we were there eating, um, the owner, Ashley, came over to check on us. We spoke to her for a little while. Um, turns out everything in the restaurant is made in-house except for the brioche buns for the burgers and sandwiches. Um, and I think she said they're Fritos. Fritos. I think they do like a Frito pie. Yeah. Um, but everything is made in house and you can tell it, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's fresh, made with love, um, and delicious. Uh, as far as our entrees, I got the smoked baby back ribs and then my sides were fried okra and the loaded baked potato. Uh, the ribs were good. Uh, they were tender. They were juicy, fall off the bone. They were good ribs. Um, I think if I were to get them again, I would probably get the barbecue sauce on the side. Um, the There was nothing wrong with the ribs, don't get me wrong, um, but it was a little too much sauce um, for my liking. I would probably get them on the side and put it on as I need it, um, but the ribs were great. Uh, the fried okra was delicious. Uh, they came with that remoulade sauce as well. I didn't even use it. Um, the, the okra did not need it. It was great. Just yeah, perfect I, amount of breading. I tried it. It was really good. Yeah, it was a perfect amount of breading. It wasn't overdone. Cooked perfectly. It was great. Um, and then the loaded baked potato. I've never seen a baked potato like this before. <laughs> um, first off, it was, it was huge. Um, it was a giant baked potato. And then it's loaded with chili, bacon, sour cream, butter, and then covered in the pimento cheese, right. uh, queso, and when they bring it out to you in this um, ceramic container, you don't even see the potato in there. I mean, it's just covered with so much stuff that you can't even see it. And when you, you'll see in the picture, that baked potato, it's, it's a meal in itself easily. I mean, I didn't even eat half of it. Um, and it was probably my favorite thing of everything we got. I mean, and you know, baked potato sounds simple, but this thing was phenomenal. Um, you wanna go ahead and tell them about what you got? I got the cask burger and according to Ashley, this is a burger that they did for Burger Week and it did so well, she added it to her menu. So this was kind of a, like a smash burger type patty. Um, it had a fried egg, it had a pimento cheese on it, pickles, bacon. bacon. Um, obviously we'll put it up on the, on, on screen so you can see exactly what was in it. And but, it had like a spicy mayonnaise or yes. tomato mayonnaise or yeah, something? Yeah, something like that. It was a, a little bit of a kick to the, to the mayo. Uh, it, it all worked together. I mean, it, there wasn't one flavor that I could pick out. I will say my first bite was, felt like it was just pickle. After that, it, everything was, was great. Um, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I was I, only able to eat half, but it was half and he took a bite of half. I, so. <laughs> I, I, I took a bite and it's a phenomenal burger. I can see why it was so yes. popular during Burger Week. And I would I get mean, it again. Oh, absolutely. I would get it again. Absolutely. And the, the bun was delicious. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a big burger. And it held up. I re my worry was it was going to be, because most burgers with an egg on top, you know, it's just oozing out. And then add the pimento cheese. I thought yeah. I, I'm going to have it all over me, and it really didn't. It, no. it held together pretty well. Yeah, it was it was a great burger. Highly recommend that burger. Mm -hmm. um, I would have a hard time when we go back not getting that burger. Um, they have a they have a meatloaf sandwich. I think I'm going to try yeah. next time. Um, just because of the way the burger looked and the buns they use and everything. Yeah. Um, and then what size did you get? I got the shoestring fries, which were great, and I got the mac and cheese. Now, mac and cheese. This guy makes a amazing mac and cheese. We will have to do a video on that. This is probably the closest a restaurant has ever come to it. Um, it was really good. It was. It, I it, tried was, it. it was really good. It, it had that cheese pull, but it wasn't too thick. 
Yeah. I don't know, but it wasn't runny. I don't know. It was just, it was, it was really good. And it was the bigger shales. Yes. Um, not the little shales. It was the bigger yes. shales. It was, it was a really good mac and cheese. Yeah, it um, was. And, and back to the fries. The fries were really good. Um, I could probably have stood a little bit more salt. Maybe. I don't know. You tried them. I he, thought they he, were great. Yeah, he liked them. I, I had no <laughs> issues. I could eat the whole container. Um, I love shoestring fries, and these no, were, they were good. these these were done right. They were crunchy, um, yes. soft on the inside. They um, they, they were made right. Um, so overall, excellent service was unbelievable. I mean, Paige, she could not have done any better. No, she couldn't. Um, I mean, every five minutes, she's walking by, seeing if we need anything. You know, we asked for recommendations, and she offered them. Uh, phenomenal job, great place, um, highly recommend. Um, the only thing that we have left uh, is we got some dessert to go because there's just no way we could eat it there. Um, they offered two, a key lime pie and a banana pudding creme brulee. creme brulee. Now, I'm not a big creme brulee fan, but I love banana pudding. So we're going to- uh, We're give... hoping it's heavier on the banana pudding. Yeah, so we're gonna give those a try here now. So here is, the <laughs> banana pudding creme brulee. Uh, you can tell they used the torch and yeah. hit it on top. So I'm we're going gonna, we're gonna go in. I, you go first. Well, I want to make sure I get banana. I'm a little nervous. I'm not a fan of creme yeah, brulee. I'm not either. All right, here it goes. And Ashley at Cask, if you're watching, if I don't like it, it's nothing against you. <laughs> I just don't like creme brulee. All right, here we go. Oh, that's phenomenal. I know. <laughs> I told phenomenal. You like yes. Oh, wow. That's really good. It's got more <laughs> of that banana pudding flavor. But it it's, does. It's more sophisticated than a banana pudding. And Does the, that make sense? the sugar on top where they hit mm -hmm. it with that torch is crunchy. It's really good. Mmm. Oh, wow. You still have key lime pie. Yep. This is unbelievable. <laughs> this is really good. Great combination. And <laughs> for two people who don't like creme brulee, that's. Oh, I got my little crunchy piece. Mm. Don't take it yet. That is really, really good. That won't last. Mm -mm. another 10 minutes <laughs> we finish this video and that's going to be <laughs> all right and then here is the key lime pie not the biggest piece but they didn't realize you were sharing you know that's probably a normal piece for yeah. a normal person <laughs> i just eat more all right so i'm going in first on this one of course know how I feel about <laughs> key lime pie. It's, it's a really good key lime pie. Mm. Okay. Both the desserts are huge winners. Absolutely. It's mm. tart, but not too tart. Still has a sweetness. And that crust, that's something you'd make in your own kitchen. That is really yeah. good. Graham cracker really crust. Mm -hmm. Homemade whipped cream on top. Yeah, this is a great piece of pie. Yeah, they, now I know why they only have two desserts. That's all they need. Mm -hmm. I mean, why add anything else when these two are this good? Mm. Great place, guys. We highly recommend it. It is quaint. It's small. It's family friendly. Um, there were two families, I think, in there with children. Um, just, just all around a great place to have a night. Out. I mean, it, everyone oh, was so nice. And the drink I got, oh. the drink I got was called I Can't Taste the Alcohol. I can't taste the alcohol in this. <laughs> okay, first of all, I could taste the alcohol and it was it was good. But I can see it's another one of those drinks that you can drink quickly and have another and start to feel it before you knew it. Um, it was really good. Bruno wants to say hi. <laughs> He wants the pie. Say hi, everybody. But anyway, we highly recommend this, guys. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let us know if there's some place you want us to try. Um, yeah, our email's posted down in the description. 
you know, send us an email somewhere you want us to try, uh, and, and we will be happy to go. Um, can't recommend this place enough. Absolutely yeah. delicious. Everyone was so nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, other servers were walking by asking us if we needed anything, clearing our table. Um, it, it was phenomenal. Yeah. So this is going to be it for us tonight. Um, stay tuned for some more. We have some exciting stuff coming soon. We do. <laughs> Doing a little traveling this weekend to we Nashville. Are. Going to hit up a couple places. So um, I know a lot of people in Louisville go to Nashville on the weekends. So we're going to hit up a couple places there. Um, we're going to we're going to hang out with my cousin who has her own YouTube channel, Two Cent Chick. She does a lot of uh, food and product reviews. She's been doing this a whole lot longer. She's a lot more professional at it. Please go check out her channel, yeah. like, and subscribe. She's our mentor. We yes. ask her questions and she <laughs> probably gets annoyed with us, but um, we'll, we'll put up on the screen uh, what her YouTube channel name is and you guys go check her out and tell her we recommended you and say hi for us. All right, guys, that's going to be it for us. All right, Kelly see you on the next one.